Let's start. Everybody ready? Yep. Okay. Mr. Ryan, the uh, court appearance just completed. Were you surprised by the request for the change of bond? Well, not that we're surprised. We're disappointed. We think the bond was set appropriately by the lower court. I think our argument was right on point as far as, you know, this is a reaction from the county attorney's office to some of the public sentiment, but there's both sides to this story. I think the judge made it the right ruling and, and keeping the bond where it's at. There's been no incidences. He's followed every condition that was set forth by the lower court, and I think it was an appropriate decision. Is the uh, request to turn over the Passover, is that the passport pretty standard? Very standard. So that's not an issue at no, all? No, not at all. Um, and another question, why did all five of you approach uh, today? That's not typical that I've ever seen no. all five attorneys stand there. What was the reason for that? Well, it's a team effort. Everyone has their own responsibilities in this case. We've divided them up well, but together we're going to work together to defend Mr. Carmer to the best of our ability. Um, we're all committed to defending him, and, and we all, all wanted to be here today. Now, Paul, one, one question that's come up quite a bit is, uh, it's already been spoken by one of your attorneys that this has been a very polarizing case in the community. Is this something where you would seek a, a possible change of venue? You know, that's a decision we're going to make down the road. Um, we're still <laughs> investigating that. We're going to investigate every possibility in this case and potential motions, and, and that's certainly one of them we'll look at very closely. Why are they so aggressively going after your client if he was just defending his property? Well, I think there's two sides to this. And we disagree with the other side, but when you have a young man that was killed, certainly there's going to be um, a, a counter position to ours. There, as we heard in court today, there has been public outcry. How have uh, Marcus and Jamal been reacting to all of this? Well, they're doing the best they can. This is difficult on them as well. Um, and uh, I think they're they're maintaining um, the best of their ability to, to keep their family unit together and, and just get through day by day, and that's what they're doing. Does it seem like Jamal will be charged? Um, I believe there's an indication that she